This equipment here can be used to set up standing waves on a string. And what I have is a uh, signal generator which generates the signal. And what we can do is we can alter the frequency and the amplitude of that signal and then we have an output. And the output is coming to this thing here which is a vibration generator. And what this does is this allows us to have something that oscillates at a certain frequency. Uh, and what we can do is we can attach this to a string. Here we have the string set up over a pulley and there's a small mass on the end. Uh, and this keeps it in tension. As I adjust the frequency, uh, what we can do is we can send these uh, waves, which are progressive waves, uh, along the string. And it's a certain point where they reflect at the end and bounce back again. Uh, and what we set up is one of the fundamental modes of vibration. As we increase the frequency, what we can do is set up other standing waves. So here we have a standing wave on the string. Uh, what we can see is that there are a couple of points that don't appear to move at all, which are the nodes and also the point in the middle of maximum displacement, which is the anti-node. And remember, the distance from a node to a node is equal to half the wavelength. So what we find is that there are a number of uh, modes of vibration, various harmonics, uh, and we still have the nodes and anti-nodes, uh, and as we have a higher and higher frequency, we can see the wavelength gets smaller and smaller.